Hey YouTubers, Electric Adventures here with another pickup video. Um, it's actually three different parcels, um, all very cheap um, auctions that have arrived. Um, well, two of them arrived today, and now another one arrived yesterday. Um, now the first one, uh, so for fifteen dollars, I got this stack of magazines. Um, bag and they look very interesting I was spread out on like a table in the um, in the ad and I could barely make out um, what was on them so the first thing on the very top is an extended service plan brochure for the um, TRS-80 color computer it opens up interesting little bit of, oh there we go, interesting bit of paraphernalia and the magazines all look to be for the Tandy Colour computer as well so we have Australian Rainbow from 1986 um, Australian Coco magazine Harder to find the date on this one. Oh, there it is. There, no, that's just publication number. Oh, we'll have to search further for the date. Probably about the same time period. And another issue of Coco magazine. So there's volume four, eighty-seven. I've got my hand over the date. <laughs> I didn't. No, the previous one must be an older one. So that's eighty-seven. Okay, and now the next one is Soft Gold in 1988. Lots of interesting articles and things, listings and things like that. That'd be interesting to have a look at. So, another issue of Coco Magazine. This has been not take too long going through these. Ah, uh, here we go. Australian Cocoa incorporating Soft Gold. So Soft Gold, obviously, was another magazine, and it got merged in there as well. So, yeah. So Soft Gold magazine for Tandy computer users. So Soft Gold, 1987, um, August 1987. Another Cocoa magazine, August 87. Soft Gold, December 1987. Australian Rainbow, January 87. Um, sorry, February 88. November 86. October 87. February 88. Last but not least, another one of those Coco incorporating soft golds. There we go, we've got a humorous looking colour over there. So, um, those who watch my other videos know that I like collecting the printed material for the retro computers. So there's some nice entries for the TRS-80 and Coco. Not that I have a TRS, uh, an ordinary TRS-80. Now I have two boxes. This first box here cost me $5.00. Even has a little note, thank you and happy gaming it's got in the top. Got some, it's been wrapped using catalogues. We have, now I'm, I'm not going to be able to dim, uh, do a play part of this pickup, um, which I'll explain shortly. So, we have, sorry about the reflection, so it's Commodore 64 3 game power pack. Um, it's got Indie, or Demo, Indie Heat, what, Cyberdome Warrior and Battle Valley. Valley. Right. Uh, lots of wrap in here, we're going to make lots of mess. Right, one of the ones I was interested in the picture, it's a copy of, box copy of Zaxxon for the Commodore 64. Tapes in backwards and there it is, all complete. I'll take the instructions of being the cover. 
We have Indiana Jones and the Lost Kingdom. I won't open them up because they're just cassette tapes when it comes down to it. And while I'm doing this, my dogs have decided to have a play in the background by the looks of it because I'm not paying any attention to them. So, a couple of loose ones we've got Raid Over Moscow and Wild Streets. So I basically got this lot for five dollars plus post. And these loose cassette ones, I can just—I've um, got plenty of old cassette tape cases. So, Mystery Island, Arnie Armchairs, Armchairs Cricket Game. Sorry, the camera's going funny on me. Uh, mad. And his official America's Cup game. Got some quite Australian titles here. Uh, game by Activision. Cosmic Doom, Boom or Doom. Cosmic Doom, I reckon. Very carefully wrapped, by the way. Championship Wrestling, Superman, and Tempo Typing, uh, Castle of Terror, Ooh, Lord of the Rings. Another Arnie's official America's Cup game. I don't know whether it's a second tape or just another copy. Uh, budget Bonanza. Okay, last pack. Uh, International Karate Plus, that's a good game. Crush, Crumble and Chomp. Um, oh, on the other side, Balaha. I see on one side, I didn't have the name. Uh, and Live and Let Die. So, not bad for five bucks, I reckon. And there's another one. It's just amazing how similar types of computer stuff sell at exactly the same time. Which, yeah, my name box is mixed up. I think that box was $15. This is the five dollar box. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely the five dollar box. So we have actually has some discs, some floppy discs, um, and they're originals. So they're not copies. So we have Black Knight, Galaxions. Uh, oh, that's not an original. The Gemstone Warrior, um, African Escape, The Hunt for Red, o Red October. Dan Dare, Renegade, Blue Angels, Operation Wolf, and Chuck Yeager's Flight Trainer. And I know I said no demo, but I may actually be able to do some of the um, disc ones. I'll explain the tape situation in a minute. And we've still got more. So this is the $5 box. We have Super Huey. Contract Bridge. Lots of packing paper. Oh, there you go. A proper boxed copy and a drop tape, right? <coughs> of On Court Tennis, Decathlon, and Barry McGuggan's World Championship Boxing. Okay, the tape that fill it was the boxing one, and there's another tape in there. So it is complete in the box. Actually, isn't that bad? So I reckon I'll be able to put that together in a reasonable will. We have a box complete version of Trivial Pursuit. We have 
a box version of Sherlock and what looks like a photocopied copy of the manual. Let's have a look inside Sherlock. Yeah, we've got the got the tape and no manual in there, so they obviously needed the manual. They lost the manual. Then we have Colossus Bridge. And last but not least, a box copy of Scrabble in good condition. So lots and lots of retro computer goodness now. Now, the reason why I can't do demos of the tape games is I have this tape player, which I got in a recent pickup. No, I haven't cleaned it up. Um, it does have a bit of a shattered thing here. Now I plug it in, and maybe some of the other YouTubers may be able to help. I plug it in, and you can full forward, rewind, stop, and when you press play, the tape moves barely a millimetre, and then does nothing. So it won't play. Um, and it's the only Commodore 64 tape player I have. Now I do have two Commodore 16 tape players that I picked up the other day, but they've obviously got the wrong uh, connector on them. Uh, they've got the small connector instead of the large flat connector. I suppose there's another thing, if anybody knows where I can get a connector converter for one of these, I have two of these, or um, maybe um, suggest something that might be wrong with that other tape player. I mean, maybe it, there's a um, because the cable's damaged, maybe it's that, the connector, or um, something's come off inside. I mean, it turns around, it rewinds and full forwards, the tape's fine, so that I would assume the belt's okay, so I just don't know why it won't play. Um, so if anybody can suggest anything, it would be highly appreciated. Alright, and um, I'll, uh, I'll load up a couple of those disc games and um, add a bit of play footy on the end so I don't let down my playing component. Alright, and I'll catch you all later. Hey, back again just with a quick little insert. Um, also arrived in the mail today was uh, the latest issue of Retro Gamer. So, um, nice to see these subscriptions issues are coming through with regularity now. It come out about was about 10 to 14 days afterwards, and there it is uh, inside the Atari 2600. So I'll be looking forward to um, reading that with a good cup of coffee. Okay, back to your normal service. Right, here we go with. Operation Wolf on the Commodore 64 and my first capture, direct capture from the computer side of the room. Okay. So nine magazines, five grenades. So I'm doing this with a joystick. You can actually play it with a mouse. Right, so I probably didn't choose the best joystick. Mm, I'm getting a bit of damage here. Gotta make sure you don't shoot the nurses. The graphics are quite clear. Whoops, shot the nurses. Naughty me. Well, the clean injection is not too bad. The helicopter's probably done lots of damage to me. Whoops! Hand grenade. So it is a good fun game. And the graphics are pretty good. I'm actually lasting longer than I thought it would. <laughs> no, didn't get the helicopter. I said you can just hold the button down, just gotta be careful. Injury level critical, yeah. See, I think my button on my joystick's actually dying. 
Oh, we're running out of bullets. No, we're running out of bullets. <laughs> Just about to die, folks. There's a clip. Can I shoot it? No, nope, I'm out of bullets. And there was probably, um, uh, I could probably throw missiles and things like that. But yeah, not a bad version at all. Um, let's move on, see if we can play another one of the games. Selected a different joystick this time. Okay, so we can walk around. So it's a <laughs> Is this one of these things I need to um, read the instructions on? A train is nearby. Okay. It would be nice if I could figure out what I'm supposed to do. Because it looks like I'm about to die. Dan ran out of energy. Great. Let's try again. So the runaway tactic has helped a little bit. And now it has one vine. Okay, that's nice. And now it has four vines. Alright. Trains after me again. Okay, I'll just pause the space button. There might be some other keyboard combinations that I need to work out. There's an apple down there that might replenish energy. Mm. Oh. So you can't go through there. So you sort of got to pull backwards. Mm, not quite. Doesn't seem to want to kill him. Yay! I got rid of him. down this one. Got five vines. So anyway, a bit of one round adventure. Um, not bad graphics. Um, not 100% sure what the um, point of it is, but um, you can always discover that later. So another game that works. Excellent. Here's a quick look at Gemstone Warrior. Uh,
rudimentary type game here, so we might just have a quick look to see what it looks like. This is a bit of an intro sequence. Right, so this is the outside world navigation. Inside a town or something. Okay, now I can do a bit of a I can shoot. Oops. So, quite an early, um, fairly simple graphic game. Is that some, something I can pick up? Okay, yeah, so I've got actually a limited arrow, so that's my current thing. Oh, here we go, here's our chest. No. Got to stay still. And there are the things in the chest. Right, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, besides having simple, fairly simple graphics, um, these sort of games can be quite fun sometimes, so... I mean... A bit dark on the colours and everything like that, but it's you know reasonable resolution, and um, what obviously looks like um, quite a few maps and things and loads on the disc. So, ooh, some skeletons. There we go. And there's another chest. You have to sort of know what the things are we're picking up. But anyway, that looks like a good little fun game, so I'm not going to demo any of the other games on there at the moment because the video is already probably pretty long, and I'll catch you all next time.